Hello toy fans. So yesterday I went to the PO box hoping to pick up my latest eBay purchase. And I opened the PO box and there's a slip in there saying, yep, you got a parcel for collection. Actually it had a times two written on it, which means there's two parcels. And I'm thinking, no, 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 it's only one item I'm expecting from eBay. So I go into the post office, I pick it up, and alas, my item from eBay has not yet arrived. Um, you know, the Christmas rush. But there were these two massive boxes, and I'm like, what the hell is this? And I check the boxes, and they're both from the same person. They're both from Kieran Ball. I'm like, man. And these were shipped on the same day, so I'm assuming that shipping was cheaper by having two you know, medium-sized boxes as opposed to one massive box. Um, but I was not expecting this. This was a total surprise. And I've kind of been sitting there all night going, oh, I've, I've got to open these boxes. Um, you know, the last time Kieran sent a mystery box, he coined the phrase F-bomb for Gracie um, with that amazing custom he sent. So, um, all right, let's not hang around. Let's get these open. Stay tuned. Come with me, toy fans. This video is proudly brought to you by Valiverse, the creative company behind the most exciting new action figure range available on the market today, Action Force. Make sure you visit the Valiverse.com website to purchase your amazing Action Force comics, toys, and other products, and follow Valiverse on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook to keep up to date with the latest product news. All the links are in the description below. Shop Valiverse, because it's time for action. Hey toy fans, my name is Tony and welcome back to the Analog Toys YouTube channel. Now it really does feel like Christmas has come early. So um, I'm going to move one box out of the way. And we're going to get into this one first. I have no idea. Kieran didn't even tell me he was sending me something. So this was a... A lovely surprise. Thank you very much, Kieran. Yeah, it does look like um, the postal service didn't treat it very well, but fingers crossed everything inside is good. So, okay, we have a letter here. Right, I, I opened the box on the right side, that's good. The correct side, not the right side. I opened it on the top. early in the morning here. Says Tony, just a few more bits and bobs for your incredible collection. If there are any items that you don't need, please feel free to pass them on to members of the Analog Toys family. Oh, that's very kind of you, Kieran. Enjoy, Kieran. P.S. I hope you don't mind, but I've also enclosed a Motu Origins clamp champ for Brendan and the left arm of a fan vote winner, Triclops for Sal. I do not mind at all. Um, I will I will get that clamp champ off to Brendan on Monday. Um, post office doesn't open on the weekend here. Um, that's, that's very, very kind of you, Kieran, very kind. And there he is, there's clamp champ for Brendan. Brendan Haley. He's gonna love this. Look at that. This is not a figure I was ever aware of when I was a child, but um, very nice. Beautiful card back, great condition. It, um, it survived the postage, so. I'll move Desert Man out of the way there. Oh, wow. Faker. I got Faker on the same Christmas morning that I got Castle Grayskull, and there's an image that I've used in many, many videos of me proudly standing or kneeling behind my Castle Grayskull with Faker in, what do you call it, like the turret, the, the, the top tower of the, of the castle. So it's terrific. I don't have the, the Motu Origins version, so that's gonna have a very welcome place in the collection. Thank you, Kieran. OK, 
Okay, I have a box inside a box here. Vintage Baron Casa from Micronauts. Kieran, this is an amazing surprise. I have a couple of Micronauts figures and that's it. And those figures had been very, oh man, this is gorgeous. Whoa. Look at that. Holy crap. I don't know what to say. This is a beautiful box. I'm smelling it, sorry. That's my thing I do. Oh man. Leader of the evil Acre year. Enemy of the Micronauts. Man, that's that's incredible, Kieran. Incredible. DVD and magazine collection of the Battle of Britain with exclusive interviews with the few. Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna look forward to watch well it's so it's a, ma a magazine and DVD. Very, very cool. Okay. This says custom villain for Desert Rat and F-Bomb. <laughs> oh, oh, I can already tell I'm gonna be doing some photography a bit later. Custom villain for Desert Rat and F-Bomb. Another letter. Man, the, the level of thought and consideration that's gone into this is just amazing. Soldier for hire, Ross Reaver and his team of international mercenaries, mercenaries lay siege to number 10 Downing Street and threaten to release an experimental biological weapon in London, unless their political and financial demands are met. In response to this threat, Action Force operative Desert Rat and Femme Fatale agent F-Bomb join forces and together they thwart the attack on London. However, during the climactic battle, Ross Reaver is exposed to the biological weapon and appears to perish, but Ross Reaver survived. Bizarrely mutated by the bioweapon, Ross Reaver, now using the codename Virus, seeks revenge on Desert Rat and F-Bomb as their sworn enemy. Ross Reaver Virus. <laughs> oh, if anyone doesn't get that joke, um, I got struck down with Ross Reaver Virus um a couple of months back and it was awful it's got virus written on the box here oh I, i've got no idea what this is going to look like oh man that's cool he's got a bit of a man, this is very cool check out that guy Kieran's giving him some guns, so he's not going to fight Desert Rat and F-Bomb unarmed. I'm going to give him the MP5.
Ross River virus. <laughs> oh, Kieran, man, that, um, and that, that ride up was amazing. I really enjoyed that. Okay. We have the fan vote winner Triclops here. Uh, missing a head and accessories. I think this was what um, Kieran must have been talking about with regards to the the left arm, because I know Sal got one of these and it came with two right arms. Um, very disappointing from uh, from Mattel there, but um, no problem. I'll get this sent off to Sal. Perfect. What do we have here? Oh wow, so we've got Motu Origins, we've got Skeletor feet, Skeletor arms, armor. That's one of the really cool Skeletor heads from the um, uh, Rise of Evil 2 pack. Some He-Man spares. Ah, oh, this is the comic accurate He-Man. Uh, comic accurate. This is the um, like um, the head sculpt that represents, you know, replicates the vintage original figure. Um, I'm going to be pu putting that straight onto my He-Man. And we have here what looks like a complete Triclops, almost. Yeah, between him and these parts, I can send Sal the arm and we've got a Triclops here. Kieran, I can't, well, not even through the first box yet. Oh man. Okay. Oh, that one took a bit of a dent. Action Force Z Force headquarter parts. Awesome. Ah, oh, a Marvel uh, retro collection, three and three quarter scale Grey Hulk. I have the Grey Hulk carded, um, but now I have a loose one because I, I don't want to ruin those cards that I've got. They're they're gorgeous. Love me some Hulk. And a complete He-Man with the head that I want. This is awesome. I haven't added anything new to my uh, Motu Origins collection for a while, so this is this is amazing, Kieran. Thank you. Oh, wow. So, in the 1990s, when Action Man was reintroduced under the, uh, under Hasbro, he kind of became a extreme sports kind of adventurer. But they did a whole series of James Bond Action Man figures. And I've often wanted, I had a few of them back in the day. I had Golden Eye um, and a few of the others. And I've often wanted to recollect them um, and do a James Bond video based on the, the Hasbro Action Man figures from the 90s. And this here is an Action Man James Bond The World Is Not Enough outfit. Um, and I'm pretty sure I've got a spare 90s Action Man figure laying around. So I'm gonna get him dressed up in this and I've, I'm gonna have a James Bond action figure in the collection. Awesome. Original storyboard panels, that's part of the, the outfit as well. Um, the shirt, the trousers. Kieran, no way. So the last time Kieran sent a mystery box, he sent me like 90% of the Lone Ranger Lost Cavalry Patrol set, which is a very, probably the rarest outfit 
from the vintage Lone Ranger line. And the only things missing um, were the rifle, which I had one anyway, um, the scarf, so I made a custom, it had a yellow scarf, I made a custom one, and the large flag, the 7th Cavalry flag. And Kieran has now completed this outfit for me. It's one of the standout pieces of the Lone Ranger collection, certainly of my Lone Ranger collection. Kieran, I cannot thank you enough, sincerely, man. I will definitely be bringing that figure down and taking a close-up shot so you guys can see what he looks like on a horse, complete with all of his accessories. All right, I better make a, a bit of room here for box number two. Oh, hang on, we haven't finished with box number one. We have a Motu Origin, I think it's an Origins mini comic called Sucker Punch, which I'm assuming is from Fisto. And an original Commando comic. I used to love reading these when I was a kid. The Sand Devils. I'm assuming that's a bit of a nod to, uh, to Desert Rat there. Thank you very much, Kieran. Okay. Man, that's how much can this guy fit into one box? I need to move some of this stuff. Oh, this one's quite heavy. This box is quite heavy. I I I can't get over those those Lone Ranger parts. Um, that's amazing, Kieran. Actually, the, the funny thing was, there was one other part missing from that outfit when Kieran sent it to me. Um, the Seventh Cavalry outfit, sorry, the, the Lost Cavalry outfit has a unique pair of riding boots with a high point at the, at the front of the, um, the lower leg. Um, and there was only one boot that Kieran sent me. And believe it or not, in my Lone Ranger spares tub, in, in, in the bin there, I had one that was like the only part of the outfit i had was one of the boots um so i was able to get a, a matching pair there Whoop. Okay, another letter here. Tony, more bits and bobs for your collection and or for our Analog Toys family. Enjoy, Kieran. Thank you very much, Kieran. And um, and, and certainly, if there, are, if there are parts in here, you know, that I've got doubles of, um, I would definitely uh, pay it forward. I'm actually doing a live stream tomorrow with Bobby Valor because I've sent him something for Christmas. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this down here. First of all... We have another of these uh, Battle of Britain DVD magazine collection. I wonder if there are different volumes. Where's this one? Hmm. Might have to be sending one of these to Michael French. Okay. What in the... This, this tub says Vintage Mask Action Force. And we have, oh wow. I'm not gonna get everyone's name here, but that's the driver of the Jackhammer. That's Buddy Hawks from Boulder Hill. No idea what that guy's name is, but I have him and his vehicle. Man, there's just a ton of figures in here. Uh, Brad Turner from the Condor. I have no idea who this guy is. He's like made out of translucent purple plastic. 
and another one in green translucent plastic. I don't know who he is. <laughs> Man, this is, um, this is really gonna help with the upcoming um, mask toy histories episode I'm going to be doing eventually. I'm eventually I'm going to get around to it. Oh, we got a Bruce Sato there with his helmet, very nice, and a Matt Tracker. And this here is the kind of cage that goes over the back of the Z Force Jeep. Um, so that can go with my Action Force spares. Kieran, my word, you have packed some stuff into these boxes. Oh, you're joking. This box says Vintage Palatoy Action Force. Kieran, a way to a man's heart is not through his stomach. It's through Vintage Palatoy Action Force. Let me tell you. No way! Do you know how rare this stuff is? These are the red attachments for the Z Force headquarters. We've got two searchlights, we've got a camera, we've got two of the guns. These are the hardest parts of the headquarters to acquire. I have a nice, <clears throat> complete, 100% complete Z Force headquarters with the rare figures. I know Michael French is trying to customize one and I almost suspect that when Kieran says in his letters, you know, feel free to pass any of these on to anyone else in the Analog family. Well, I consider my friend Michael French part of the Analog family. And if he needs these red accessories, they are going in the mail on Monday. And here we have um, the roof for the Action Force Jeep, um, which can be removed and turned over and turned into a boat and we've got the outboard motor there as well. Lordy. We have another tub that says Vintage Palatoy Action Force. Kieran. Oh, more accessories for the headquarters. Two chairs for the headquarters. A jail cell, man, I've got two Z Force headquarters. One is really, really incomplete. I almost think that I might be able to help Michael complete his and go very close to completing my second one. More Z Force headquarters parts. Another panel from the Z Force headquarters. Is this a scuba Pete action figure? Kieran has written a note here. It very well could be. It very well could be. This is cool. I have no idea what toy line this is from, but. This certainly looks like a Scuba Pete action figure, if you ask me. <laughs> Very cool. We've got a ton of accessories here to go with him. I see he has a Scuba tank goes on his back, I think. Yep. I see. This says Vintage Mego Micronauts. It is Baron Kaza loose, so I don't have to take this one out of the box. He looks like he's got 
most of his accessories here. Man, this guy is heavy. It's got all magnetic joints so you can pull it apart at the shoulders and the hips and... Oh, um, seriously running out of table here, Kieran. What are you doing to me, man? These are always useful. We have here vintage Mattel big gym parts. <clears throat> I've got one big gym figure, but I've got a really good friend down in Perth who's got a very, very nice collection of vintage big gym. And I keep saying that the next time I'm in Perth, I will. Um, take my camera and spend some time at his place filming his collection for a video, but I'm just, I'm never in Perth long enough. Man, we got some nice accessories here for Big Jim. Spare arms, hands, feet, a really nice Big Jim head. Um, these will definitely come in, these aren't going anywhere, Kieran, these will definitely come in useful because I know what I'm like and I'm sure one day I'm gonna, I'm never gonna have a massive collection of Big Jim but I'm gonna have a few, I'm certain of it. I've got one, I think, already, um, possibly two. Character building micro figures, Doctor Who series one and two. Okay. Oh, character, but so this is kind of like a um, Lego type thing. Um, and there's, we've got Daleks in here. Micro figures. It looks, almost looks like we've got, are they figure stands? So we've got a Cyberman in there. We've got a Doctor Who figure, a Dalek. More Daleks, more Doctor Who. Oh, these are cool. Thank you very much, Kieran. Every so often when I'm recording these unboxings or on live streams, you'll know that I have these <laughs> awkward silences. It's when I see something in a box and I just go, I'm sure I mentioned this on some stream. Kieran has sent me the Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. Oh, wow. I love Doctor Doom. He was like the main Marvel villain. Can you hear that? My son's at a sleepover and his alarm's gone off. Excuse me, I'll be back. Now, where was I? Um, <clears throat> during the 1980s, Doctor Doom was, you know, he, he, was, he was the bad guy in the Marvel Universe. And I used to love watching Spider-Man and his amazing friends. And Doctor Doom features in the intro sequence of that cartoon. And I had the uh, Marvel Secret Wars version of Doctor Doom such a badass and Hasbro did such a good job on this figure it's one that I have wanted for a very very long time so I've probably wanted this figure since even before it was made if, you, if that makes any sense cute like the wealth of vintage stuff here but I love him Kieran I absolutely love him thank you thank you so much Okay, it looks like we're down to one final tub that's been taped up, this one. And, oh my word, Kieran. I've been pulling out little bits and pieces of an Action Force Jeep, thinking they're spare parts. And we have an Action Force Z Force Jeep here. That is so awesome, Kieran. 
so awesome. It's got the gun, it's got the antenna, we've got the roll cage. We've got everything we need. It's a complete Z Force Jeep. Well, I. Kieran, I can't thank you enough. Your, your generosity, your, your thoughtfulness. I, I send mystery packages to people and I know the time and effort it takes to select a variety of different items, to, to write letters, to package everything neatly. Um, yeah, the box was a bit, the, the shipping box was a bit damaged, but nothing in here got broken, apart from a plastic tub, but you know, it's a plastic tub. Um, and I am sincerely grateful for the time and the thoughtfulness that you've put into this and the fact that you've said in your letter that you know if I want to forward anything on to anyone I'm more than welcome to well you know that I'm gonna do exactly that and um, you've made me excited because you've helped me fill some gaps in my collection and you're gonna help fill some gaps in some uh, the collection of some of our friends, you know, in the Analog Toys family. So, Kieran, I, I really hope you're you're doing well and that you have a Merry Christmas and 2022, you know, brings you all the joy and happiness that you're, that you're wishing for. And to everyone else here viewing on Analog Toys, Merry Christmas, one and all, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers.